hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll look at how to connect to ubuntu desktop remotely using xrdp now i'm logging to the ubuntu machine there is a few commands we have to run in order to set up uh, xrdp so we'll begin by opening the terminal and then we'll enter those commands so it's like four commands we have to put in now the first command will be for updating the package repositories so we'll do sudo apt update and we have put in our password once this is done we'll do the installation of xrdp Okay, it's done, so I'm gonna clear the screen and then I'll run the command to install XRDP. So that command is sudo apt install XRDP. Press Y for yes. That's done. We'll go ahead and uh, ensure that XRDP is enabled. So the command for doing that is a sudo system CTL enable XRDP. And then we can check the status uh, system CTL status xrdp and it's uh, saying that it's active running enabled so just quit next thing we need to do is to open the uh, port on the firewall for xrdp uh, uh, the port number is 3389 and the command is going to be sudo ufw allow so ufw ufw is the firewall command so allow from any to any the port number is 3389 the protocol is a tcp now we'll need the IP address on this device that then we'll need to use this IP address from the remote computer that we are using. Uh, we're gonna XRDP into, or RDP into the Ubuntu machine. Now the command is just IP address. And the IP of this machine is 172.16.1.103. That's the IP address we'll need to put into the RDP application. Uh, so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open the remote desktop on a Windows machine. And then I'm gonna use that to connect to this uh, Ubuntu machine. Now, if you're trying to log in with the same username, you'll need to log out, otherwise you'll get a black screen when you're trying to do a remote connection to that same user that's already logged in. So if you're gonna use the same user, like I have your uh, Eno, so that username Eno, since it's already logged in, if you try to use it on your remote desktop, it's gonna generate a black screen. So you wanna log out before you can actually log in using the same username. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, log out and then come back in with the remote desktop. So let's go ahead and uh, close this, go up here and then we'll go to log out, we'll say log out. Okay, now we are logged out. 
uh, we'll go ahead and uh, bring up remote desktop. So here's remote desktop. I just need to put in the IP address, which was uh, 172.16.1. And then I'll press con connect here. Press on yes. And here we have uh, XRDP. We'll go with uh, this default option here for session. The username is going to be Eno. And then I'm going to put in the password. Press OK. And there you have it. I'm able to log into the uh, Ubuntu machines desktop. Uh, this one took the uh, full screen. And my uh, the amount of screen that I'm recording is uh, smaller than the, the full screen that it took. But as you can see here, if you go to the bottom, you have your terminal. You can open your terminal here. So I typed who am I? I logged in, I'm logged in as Eno. And actually, you can look at the logs here to actually see what it's showing as far as the login. So this is the authentication logs. And let's see if it says anything about XRDP. Uh, let's change directories to the Valog folder first. And we'll do tilde twenty um, up here on this line you can see that there's an XRDP session. So this is the session that we actually started. So that's all for this video. That's how you can enable XRDP on your Ubuntu machine and then be able to remote into the machine using a RDP or remote desktop. So I hope this has been helpful. Catch you in my next video. Thanks, bye.